players. And if you continue to be a top ladder player, speaking of two very high top ladder players here in Sam and TNT, I, I just like forgot my thought because we're going to go into this 1v1 and I'm so excited to see the debut of this tribe player. It's finally TNT and CRL West. Took you long enough, buddy. Oh, lag game. We are here. And TNT and Samuel are playing against each other in this 1v1 set. Try up in the 2v2. Oh, Robin Barrels gets a and barrel. And TNT looking like Expo here. And so Igbo, Igbo, this will be TNT interesting to Igbo. see double bait versus Expo. Here they are. Their debut as a CRL Western player. Excited Ooh. to see what TNT can do with this against Did this young somewhere. player standout. Yeah, agreed. And, and I guess now to Igbo, wrap around the thought about Sam was that, oh. you know, if you are continually at the top of ladder every season, that means you adjust to metas, and that means I you think work TNT, really, really uh, hard. He, I think no, everything I think else there, he, you can be shaped senior. by a great coach. And that's the idea of he, who he's picking up these top right players now. in Lapo and Basoto. And here Igbo. we go, have, first Expo down building. from TNT. Oh, he's Inferno Tower. So I think he's Inferno Tower. So how to defend. Expo for a while. Fireball should be enough to make room for that one to get through. And look at that. Ice Spirit comes in. A brilliant Ice Spirit. That is a massive, massive lock, Rich. That's going to be a whole lot of damage. Tower down to 1345. This wasn't locked, but it cannot be fanned. Now the question is going to be, how many more Expos does TNT go for offensively oh. versus Control and getting those Fireball logs on Tower on the left-hand side? Come on. Yeah, I mean, uh, Sam is already in a that, so really, really big spot rocket. of trouble here. TNT did a great job with that, that somewhere, like. Fireball on top of the Inferno Tower, an aggressive Wait, man, Fireball, but he also knows what deck he's playing against, and he knows if he Fireballs the... there, what does he have to deal with? Most likely the Skelly Barrel, and he was ready for it. And look at that, now ready for the Inferno Tower. TNT, playing in the future, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you had to imagine the Inferno Tower high was going to be the move against the Expo. TNT playing it nicely and getting it, get, making it... His opponent, Samuel, spend a lot yes. at the bridge to stop that expo. Yeah, and there you go. Great skeletons up high after the Dark Album locks on. Tesla, Tesla pops the Skelly Barrel. TNT making a, a great showing here in his debut. We have so many. Tesla, can, Tesla and buildings overall can pretty easily deal with the Skeleton Barrel, the Long Barrel, the Goblin Barrel. Uh, wi -Fi this deck cycles wi -Fi. around very, very quickly. It's going to be a challenging out for Samuel to try to get back in this one. I mean, he's only a few hundred HP behind, but it also feels almost as if TNT is toying with him, just kind of letting him slowly fall behind elixir-wise, uh, interaction-wise, and then all of a sudden, an expo is going to come down, and Samuel's going to have no response. And maybe that's only right my now. Water. Yeah, well, TNT Ooh. does have a lock on the board right now. Lock does it, gets the lock. Great deck selection here yeah. from TNT. A pretty solid matchup, Expo versus Bait. And that's going to be GG well played. GG well played. Number one. Welcome to the West, TNT. What a <laughs> thrilling from TNT. Day. Yeah, you know, I mean, Expo can be very, very frustrating to play against. And sometimes it's not the most fun to watch. But I'll be honest, that right there was a clinic. TNT played that. against Team Liquid and Igor's stunning King of the Hill debut. But, you know, you talk about... Uh, you, you talk about so what today, uh, Eagle game. in his oh my rookie God, season, he didn't play for crazy. the first Much six up. weeks, and when he finally came so in, he still was able to post yeah, the yeah, top yeah. win rate in Seattle Asia over his 22 games, coming that late into the season. So okay, let's go. We're talking about. So this TNT is somewhere, but not the most player. All right, here we go. T that's, here that's go. What he does. <laughs> Fast and Same oh. thing in the fall 2019 season. Look, man. Jack Goblin. And I think this this was not oh we have Royals I we have Royals I am Jack Oblin and Mega Nine no this was not that both Royals and Legend and then two one v one wins over Jack in the final versus Fab to secure their spot for World Finals. So well, break up Jack Oblin smoke. There's a reason why everyone has been waiting for TNT. Um, minor wall breaker so Jack Oblin. Minor wall breakers from Samuel and. Looking like it might be double bait from TNT. Yep, 100%. I mean, double bait, just dominating the entire Hunky. meta. GCs, top ladder, everywhere. Uh. Goblin Barrel, left-hand side. Log takes care of that one easily. Dark Goblin on high. Will be taken out by the bats. Off on the left. Left. And that's a really, really great swerve, Andrew. Yeah, that was a really, really nice play there. Royal Delivery yeah. go behind. Valkyrie Ooh, does yeah. get on top. Really, that's really funky. nice. Interactions nice. there and plays by Samuel. Yeah, I mean, he he had he knew that there was going to be the law. So I think the last cow, someone, he was saying that wasn't 
And so there's poison. no reason to throw the miner on the left-hand side. You're not going to get extra value out of it. He did on the right-hand lane. And TNT well hits its third copy um, somewhere index, maybe. This is going to be kind of like what we saw yesterday with Morton. It's going to be all about TNT trying to make sure he does have the appropriate response. It's not a lie, but it's not a lie. He's got the value in the middle of the trade. He's got the value in the middle of the trade. He's got the value in the middle of the trade. He's got the value in Chứ không thì nó vẫn đúng, nó là Spoison, that's right. Chứ không có giáp. Chứ không có giáp. Chứ không có giáp. Thế là cũng là Inferno Tower. Mình nghĩ là Inferno Tower. And goes Hot in and juking with that barrel in the back <laughs> high bomb tower from Samuel for that skeleton barrel. Yeah, very, very juky there, and you know the idea is just to kind of mix things up a little bit. Obviously, Sam is going to see the trajectory. Một cái deck mà có thể thắng được cái deck cái deck của Samuel đó chính là cái deck Elixir Golem. Samuel has gone behind with the miner. Nhưng mà gần như là không ai chơi đấy Elixir Golem. Elixir Golem có con hiu với lại con hiu spirit thì thực sự đơn giản. And at the moment, it's Space Station Samuel ahead by a few hundred HP oh, as we get okay, into okay. this more critical phase. Yeah, here we Ooh. go. Delivery going to come down clean all that Nhưng up. Nhưng mà cũng rất là khó bởi vì là bên kia team hai con thẻ điện viên gần như là bị bắt bài được. Một cách đơn giản. Lock thì dùng Goblin Barrel thì dùng Bass không biết lại. Lock thì đặt sẽ defend cho Skeleton Barrel. Rất khó được bài cho TNT. Lúc này vừa hai cao tờ đến bên này có hai cao tờ đuổi. Mai nở nó cũng móc lốt cực kỳ là khó chịu. Nhiên lượng máu bây giờ xuống là một nghìn. Đấy anh đang luôn sử dụng lại như vậy. Bên kia anh đang đẩy rất nhiều tốc độ dành. Đúng rồi, cái Poison như thế này rất có lợi thấy Samuel in the lead, but it's slowly starting to fade away. Ui, phải dùng Skeleton Rattle, mấy 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 phải dùng Skeleton Rattle, không dùng Lock. Có một phải hit đến từ đồ Goblin. High Bomb Tower does have to give up a little bit of damage there from that first Goblin Barrel, and there you go, Minor Poison actually in. Cho anh Top Lane xử lý rất tốt Tuy nhiên thì TNT anh đang bẩy rất chắc Có thể nó không nói nhưng mà không có nhiều đam đến từ góc bên TNT anh đang bẩy rất chắc 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 And you see that log on the left-hand side missed the goblins on the back end, trying to get both the goblins and the skeleton barrels. So that's why you're seeing 1109 there, a log missing those goblins. Rare mistake there from Samuel, still ahead though. Yeah, that is a big, big miss when you miss a log. Here we go, trying to draw something out of the left-hand side so he can't defend the right, can't continue to go on offense, but it will look like Sam is going to eat things up here in the second set. Khó, khó cho TNT bởi vì vừa lock vừa kia Taking game number 2 off TNT Second first, same as the first We're all tied up and going to game number 3 Bánh hay như thế nào nhưng mà cứ bị hai win position gần như là Bị cao tờ như vậy là như khó Good job guys Ok, we have last game Ok, we have last game But he did 2-1 Igor and it was based off of some really really great adjustment The regular season as well So both guys gotta imagine are itching to really get themselves out there Itching to show their level here to this Western audience, especially TNT and, you know, part of why, we talked about this before, part of why Tribe Gaming brought in Sean Kim as their coach was his understanding of the top players in the East he could bring over. And that's why you see Jupiter and TNT both on this roster. Yeah. Okay, we're last guy. Here we go, game three to decide set number two. Set in number two. semifinals match day number one between Tribe Gaming and Space Station. Gets a dragon. Magic Archer. Skeleton Dragon split in the back. Magic Archer for so. Samuel. So first, I think some someone he played uh, uh, Red Hot. And TNT he played. No, it's Zion. Oh, I remember. Oh, uh, I have idea. Someone he played Magic Archer, Zion, a mini Pekka Psycho. And um, no, it's Prince, not a mini Pekka. So I already know we. 
throws the prince in the back. I don't even know Nick. It seems like people kind of forgot that the prince still has that big HP buff. I know, I was just gonna say it. It feels like people played Prince and so minor, much when he initially got his buff, but then it sounds like he's yes. fallen out of the meta. Zap block and uh, me, incredibly, minor, incredibly maybe. I mean, look how much of a response he demands out right there. Yeah, lock. So I think somewhere he will so keep the uh, Malika and uh, the Bat defend the Skeleton Dragon and uh, Baby Dragon. Samuel so. got the right hand tower down by just one lock. Both these guys going to kind of play passively Zion here cannot, in single. Cannot sure way too much. Just for the set because TNT here you know, with how much double bait and so man was in the... yesterday, Andrew. I believe it was Carter who made the point. Uh, former tri player, specifically Carter, who made the point on uh, on Twitter about wondering why we weren't Rồi, seeing much 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 triggers, triggers, especially yeah. giant triggers, yeah. uh, up against with so much bait Minor, and, then, uh, and not going triple freeze. spell here, but with the log and keep the zap, you have good answers oh, keep to keep that freeze. double bait that we're being played. Yeah, and the other thing Are about this deck too is you look at those cards, and the zap, the log. Is you've only got one really high DPS card in the Prince. Bats are high DPS as well, but you look at all this splash damage, it's going to be really, really hard to get them on the RG very quickly. Here we go, final in the regulation, double elixir now flowing, and TNT has taken the lead back from 1637 to 1637. Magic Archer going to be played up high there, once again. Fisherman Shrine Skeleton's not like taking tower by force or somewhere. I'm saying, I'm gonna go to the activation there, Andrew. Fisherman pulls the magic archer. Do you need somewhere like that's a cycle? That's gonna make things much, much more difficult for that miner. It's lagging by the coil or somewhere. Yeah, those are the those are the uh, little finesse oh, plays that that really get us to smile, you know. Oh, there you go. There's the high skellies that actually pay off this time. Not going to be able to pull that giant in. Magic Magic to to some damage damage here, Magic and that skeleton dragon moves. Yeah. So these are some big shots coming in. Very, very close right now between these two. Now we got two dragons crossing the river. Baby up front to tank Good. the skeleton dragon. Giant comes back down to defend. And we're going to see another defensive from TNT. Probably a bigger counter push on this last one. Minor. We're going to see that minor. We're going to see that minor. Minor, 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 that is trouble. There's no way for Santa to defend this adequately. RG is going to get a shot. Lightning can come lightning in. Coming, lightning coming. Going to lightning coming. Lightning coming. Lightning coming. Lightning And there you go. Lightning finishes things off. TNT. TNT in his CRL West debut. Taking it 2-1. to one TNT. And now putting I love you. And a chance just one set away from the finals. I mean, Space Station Gaming has been battling their hearts out in.